hello hello hey guys hey everybody welcome <laughs> hey guys so the tea is i'm waiting on my food because i ordered some food from veggie grill and i'm really hungry and i'm a little bored right now i took a break from working so i was like let me get on live let me talk to you all so yeah i just wanted to say hey i see all my friends in here hey guys love you so yeah i don't know i just wanted to say hi i think maybe it'd be fun if we start answering questions because i feel like a piece of me is missing without hallie and i'm really just doing this out of boredom and i want to talk to you all so yeah i haven't been doing much today i've been making music which i do every day and i've been chilling with little bro so it's been a good day i've been like in a really like positive headspace i've been really happy oh and guys i have to say like seeing all the love from you all has really like touched my heart i was like honestly surprised because <laughs> all my friends on my finsta and hallie knows too like i usually just post stuff like that all the time so i guess it's like welcoming you all into my world um, but yeah, no, I don't have piercings. I don't have any piercings, but I only have ear piercings here and I do have those little dots here, but I can't put anything in them. Oh my gosh. Just got an alert from Postmates. I get my food in nine minutes. So yeah, how would someone ask, how is it having my own account? Well, I've always had my own account, my Finsta and Hallie has always had hers. So, I mean, it just feels normal. We're just sharing it with you all. And it's really fun that you all can see how we are as individuals, you know? So, yeah, um, it's, I, I always love and miss Hallie. I miss her so much. I was talking to her today, she's in London, and it's like a huge time difference and everything, and I just, I miss her. So. What someone said, what's a Fensa? It's like a private Instagram just for your friends. I got like maybe 60 followers or something, 60, 70 followers. But now I got all of you all. And I did not expect for the following count to go so fast, guys. I love you all. And I also saw someone else say, what did I order? I ordered the little chill out wings from Veggie Grill. I'm vegan. I ordered the chill out wings. And I got the sweetheart fries, which is sweet potato fries. And I got the sweet chipotle sauce. So, yeah. Um, so I'm, my food gets here in eight minutes. So I think once my food gets here, I'll get off live. But maybe I'll just answer some questions while I'm here. I feel weird without Hallie. Okay. Um. <laughs> you guys are really funny. Um, these are a lot of questions I can't really answer. Um, how to tell if a guy likes you back? Oh, that's a good one. You can tell because they'll show you. And if you have to question it, then you need to move on, girl. Move on. If the energy's not being reciprocated, then mm-mm. And I'm like really affectionate and stuff. And I love love. So if I give it and I'm not getting it back or what I'm giving back on to the next on on to the next um where did i get my glasses so these aren't fake these are actually prescription i have really great eyesight but when i make music and produce and like make my beats and stuff i'm really close to the computer screen for long hours at a time and my eyes tend to over focus and i'll get a little headache so i have this and it has like the blue screen shield i don't know it's not showing up on here, but it'll block the blue light from the computer so my eyes are okay. I also saw someone ask, uh, what's my favorite zodiac sign? Uh, I don't know. It just depends on the person. Because I'm a Cancer and I'm really sensitive. But both my parents are Scorpios, Hallie's and Aries. And it's like, I like people that Cancers are usually not supposed to like. So I, I think I get along with really anybody okay how long have you been making beats i have been making beats since i was around 17 years old 16 17 but i've always been like recording and engineering myself but really like getting into beats good actually making good ones 17 17 um 
Um, um, um. Oh, for everyone who wants to know. So my main sign is Cancer. I don't know what they call that. And then my ascendant sign is Virgo. And my descendant sign is Libra. What room am I sitting in right now? My room. This is my bedroom. You all have never been in here with me. So I guess because we're usually always in Hallie's room. So you always see her room, but we're never in my room because honestly, it's always a mess. But I've been doing really good this year. It's been like my like new year resolution almost to like keep my room clean. So I think I've been doing really good, guys. I think I've been doing good. I don't know because my mind's always like cluttered and I'm always such a mess and all that but <laughs> not right now okay I, this is kind of fun someone said are you single yes hello how are you doing um let's see do 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 you or would you get a tattoo if you don't already have any I don't have any tattoos uh no i don't have lip injections by the way but no i don't have any tattoos i will not be getting any tattoos because i'm the type of person who wants it to really like have a deep deep meaning and i don't know what i want to keep on my body for like all my life like i'm 22 right now gonna be 23 in july and i'm like if i can't think of anything right now then you know but I'll tell you what I do think is cute. How B and J have their little matching tattoo on their ring finger. So if one day I get married and my future husband is like, hey, babe, let's get some matching tattoos. I'll be like, okay. But only small. Because I'm not good with pain. I'm not good with pain at all. Someone said, why am I single? I'm single by choice, my love. And that is because right now I'm focusing on myself. I'm in my prime time of life. And I don't know. So whenever the right one comes along or if they're here and I don't know it yet, then that's what happens. Andrew, hi. What? <laughs> you guys are crazy. I saw a comment. You guys are really funny. I also saw a question that said, what's my workout routine? Okay, I'm going to keep it a thousand with you all. I think half of my body is from jeans and my family like my mom she was a track star her body was banging Woo! and i think i got it from her now i'm vegan i don't think being vegan has anything to do with my shape because i see photos when i was a little girl like eight years old and i still had, you had a little junk in the trunk right but i'm gonna be honest with you guys food is my kryptonite it is the it is the best blessing for me and like the biggest curse because guys if i don't work out consistently i will gain weight so fast like this and i don't know if you could tell but like throughout like the two years if you look at some pictures like you'll see i'm like really snatched and skinny and then some like i'm just a little puffy just a little bit and like my weight goes up and down like that like constantly so it's a battle for me i'm gonna keep it 100 and last but i treated myself last night <gasps> my postmate is here oh my gosh oh my gosh do i text branson and tell him to open the because i still want to keep talking to you all they could just leave it at the wherever so yeah food is the death of me um yeah also i saw someone ask if i use a waist trainer no but i will tell you ladies what you can get someone open the gate for me i see the light perfect and i get my food get like a sweat band not the waist trainer because waist trainers i feel like i don't think it does anything i've tried it maybe three times i've never really noticed a difference it does look snatched when you have your workout stuff on but i never notice it get a sweat band because every time you work out you'll sweat a lot and you'll lose the water weight here and that's what i use i use like well, I don't want to say the name because they're not paying me to endorse, but you could find them on Amazon. And if you do like a cute little hike or a run or something with cardio and put the sweatband on and then you put like a, they have like sweat gel too here. It works. So it works wonders. Waist trainers don't work for me. They don't work for me. I tried three times and just, mm mm. I see some of the names of the brand I use. Yes, yes. I will say it if they pay me, but I'm not going to say it. 
So, ladies, get a sweatband, okay? Also, on Amazon, because I'm obsessed with Amazon, and you know, I try to figure out ways to keep my weight down, I got like this sweat blanket, if that makes sense. <laughs> I would pull it out, but then my room would get messy and stuff. So anyways, I don't know if y'all have ever been to like Shape House and it's like you get in a bed and you like sweat and it's like really like the temperature is hot, hot, hot. And you sit in there for an hour and you feel like you're about to die and faint, but you just get lose all the water weight. It's like that. But you get it for your house and you, you get in it and you lose all the water weight. So if, if I need to look snatched for a shoot, that is what I do. So I really appreciate all the compliments on my body, but the struggle. Um, who would you want to produce for in the future? A lot of people, actually. There's so many people. I love FKA Twigs. I love Tanache. I've always been the biggest fan of Kanye's production. Mike Dean is amazing, but I'll tell you. My number one inspiration, Imogene Heat, because she a bad bitch. And she produces, and she writes all her stuff, and grimes. And you know who else? I don't know if she produces her stuff, but she's a great writer. And I love her persona, Khalees. Every time I put on Khalees, I feel like the baddest bitch. And I want to be like Khalees. I want to be like Khalees. Who else would I want to work with? There's a lot of people I'd want to work with. I think Don Tolliver's great. Drake is great. Rosalie is amazing. Travis Scott's amazing. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of people. Billie Eilish. I could. The list could go on and on. Brie Runaway. Oh my God, I love her. So yeah. Okay. I'm probably gonna answer like maybe four more questions and then I'm gonna go. Uh, okay, I answered this. Are you single and what do you look for in a man? Yes, I'm single. What do I look for in a man? Kindness. Like all that extra stuff doesn't face me. Like. I don't like cocky personalities. That's a huge turn off for me, honestly. I like really sweet people and really sweet energy. And I notice like guys who are like into their craft and stuff, is Branson coming? Branson, come here. Look. Hey, oh, you brought my food? Oh, Branson, it's okay, thank you. I need to get my fries out of here. See, veggie grill. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. Thank what are you. Talking about? I'm just answering questions because I don't really know what to do without Hallie. Mm. Okay, well, I guess I get to eat now. Everybody, shout yourself out. Follow my handle, basketball underscore Branson. Hey, y'all, what's up? Okay, so what? Tell the people what you got, cause Branson's not vegan. I just got fries, cause the fries here kind of smack, but the vegan stuff I can't really like the soy stuff. I can't really eat it like that. You know? Yeah, he he's scared of eating soy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, y'all. Love you, Branson. You got this little trash can blocking the door. You should have just locked the door. But my lock doesn't work on my door anymore. If you try, it always gets jammed. I gotta get a new one. All okay, right. love you. Thank you. Peace out. Peace out. Calm down. All right. Oh, I got my food. I'm going to try to not get it on my equipment because this is on This is on the desk where I do my stuff. Because Hallie and I have our studio in the garage, but I'm not going to lie, y'all. It's a little creepy in here. And I'm a big scaredy cat. And I just don't, I just don't need my energy being messed with. I do need hot sauce. Mm. Okay, back to the question. What do I look for in a man? Kindness, loves God, works really hard because I work hard. So I need to see you being <laughs> That's about it. I'm not picky. I don't discriminate. Sometimes, you know, like the little pretty boy, sometimes like them rough. It just depends on the person. You feel me? Mm. This is hitting even without the hot sauce. I'm not even gonna lie. I think I'm just hungry. Let me X this question off. Okay. 
Are you vegan? Yes, this is vegan. I got a funny story though. Hold on. Okay. Y'all. So, I'm vegan, right? My little brother, the rest of my family isn't. When I, hey Sierra, when I, so I'm from Atlanta. And you know we love our meat and all of that. Well, I don't, I haven't eaten meat for like eight years. So, this is vegan, disclaimer. So, you know, Chick-fil-A, I used to be obsessed with Chick-fil-A. Well, come to find out, I could still eat the Chick-fil-A fries because it's not made with beef seasoning like McDonald's fries are or nothing. Because I can't have McDonald's fries. I can't have nothing from McDonald's, honestly, except the oatmeal. No McDonald's fries or the hash browns because it's made with beef seasoning. Anyways, I could do the fries at Chick-fil-A. So, Branson always asked me to take him to Chick-fil-A like every other day. We pull up in the drive-thru. Usually I use Branson's name because I don't want to be, I'm on here like, oh, I'm vegan, I'm vegan. And then someone sees me pulling up at the Chick-fil-A drive-thru, even though I'm just getting fries. But let me just tell you. So the last time I was there, I forgot to use Branson's name, right? And mind you, we have our mask on. So I pull up to the spot, get to the window with the people. And of course I used my name so they knew who I was and they were really nice. But I felt embarrassed because here I am saying that I'm vegan and I'm pulling up at Chick-fil-A. I'm only eating the fries, I promise, with the Texas Pete hot sauce packets. Mm. With the diet lemonade. The diet lemonade tastes just like the regular lemonade without all the sugar. Mm. Woo. So, that's my embarrassing story. Sage, I love you. Hi. So that's the story on that. I still eat Chick-fil-A fries. Yes, I'm vegan. But I got to do the waffle fries. And it doesn't have beef seasoning like McDonald's. So I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. God forgive me. And I'm going to tell you another story where I accidentally. Oh, this breaks my heart. This was about four years ago. I accidentally ate a little bit of meat. And I cried and cried. For days. Let me tell you what happened. Let me get another bite. Oh, let me get my fries. Hold on. Mm, 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 mm. Got the sweet chipotle sauce. Woo! Carmen? Carmen knows how to open my door. Hold on. I'm closing the door. Hold on. Okay, okay, okay. So... This was Thanksgiving about four years ago. And mom, she makes, like she made a vegan stuffing, regular stuffing. Mom was in the process of making the stuffing. She left the house, said, don't touch the food. Who called Common a rat? Common is not a rat. He is my little baby boy. I love, where can you go? Common? Hi, potato fry, come here. Sit, sit. Good boy. Don't get it on the rug. Good boy. Okay. Anyways. Mom said, don't touch the stuffing. I'm about to leave. Don't touch the stuffing. You know me, I love food. It's my favorite thing in the world. It makes me very happy. She leaves. I see the stuffing on the thing counter. Now, they have vegan chicken sausage, and it's delicious. It looked like vegan chicken sausage was in the stuffing. So here I am. Hey, Gracie. <laughs> so here I am. I get a spoon. I'm like, I look around. Ain't nobody around to witness what I'm about to do. Hey, Ashley. Ain't nobody about to witness what I'm about to do. So I take the first spoonful. I make sure I have a piece of the vegan chicken sausage on the spoon. Take the bite. Oh, it's so damn good. I'm like, Lord Jesus, mom put her foot in this. Hallie's in the kitchen like, Chloe, we're not supposed to do this. I'm like, well, girl, I'm hungry. Mom ain't around. She can't see that I'm eating her food. I look around again. Get my spoon. Dip it back in the stuffing. Made sure that... You want another one? Made sure that 
it had another piece of vegan chicken sausage because that shit was banging. Vegan. I thought it was vegan. Here you go. Yeah, good boy. Okay. Oh, I got my life even more than the first bite. Then by the third bite, Hallie joins in with me. We're like, ooh, 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 because I was going on and on about how good the stuffing was. So, as I chew and chomp down on the third bite, I look to the side, right? And I see something on the dining room table that looked more vegan than this did. And I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait a second. I went over to the stuffing. I've said, uh-uh, ain't no way. So I called mom on the cell phone, on the cellular. And I said, mom, which stuffing is on the counter? Is that, is that, the, that's the vegan stuffing, right? She goes, no. I said, what do you mean? No, that's the vegan stuffing on the counter. That's the one you were making. No, Chloe. I said, you got to be kidding me. I, I said, now, 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 what about what's on the table? Chloe, I said not to touch the food. I said, oh, shit. I said, mom, mom, mom. She comes home. She said, then she points it out. Chloe, this is the regular stuffing with the chicken. And this is the vegan stuffing. I, I fell out on the floor. I started crying. I said, Lord, forgive me. I said, I'm so sorry to the chickens because I've been vegan for eight years. I said, oh my gosh, help me, Lord. I broke, ask Hallie and dad and Branson. I was on the floor crying. Y'all know I cry. So I drank so much water because mind you, the little pieces of the chicken sausage were like that, but I had three of them. Oh my gosh. Uh-oh. And I was crying and crying and crying and crying and crying. And never again did I do that. Well, that's a lie. I have went back and snuck more food when mom told me not to. But I made sure it was the vegan one. And that's the story. That's the story. Oh, this is so good. Are you all eating food? I miss Hallie. It's like 2 a.m. for her, I think. 1 or 2 a.m. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, let's answer some more questions because I'm just staring at the screen now at this point. The food's too good. Let me wipe my hands. Also, guys, what I do in my free time, I watch Paternity Court on YouTube. They have full episodes. Oh, someone's, here's a producer question. How do you use your push to on Logic? You got to finesse. You plug that shit in the computer. You open Ableton. You open Logic at the same time. And boom, when you try to record or you have the instrument enabled on Logic, next thing you know, you hear it coming from the push. So little tip for you. Just make sure you have to make sure both programs are open at the same time. Okay. Am I left-handed? No, I'm right-handed. I feel like a thing you should have put a ring on it. I feel like a thing you should have put a ring on it. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Am I on here too long? Guys, I'm just bored. So here I am on a Saturday night. Hey, Marce, I love you, girl. Common says hi, too. You heard him? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, oh. How many dogs do you have? I have one. I have one. Are you the rebellious child? Honestly, being completely for real? No, I'm not. Hallie always says the same thing too on our Instagram live. Oh, excuse me. When we do tea times, she'll tell you. So the funny thing is a lot of people think because I like to like, I like to show off a bit more and I'm a bit more like out there and all of that. A lot of people think I'm like the rebellious one. Well, no, I'm like a goody two shoes, like nerd 
chick and I have been since I was a little girl honestly and I think why I perform so aggressively is because it's an outlet for me because I I hate confrontation I don't tell people how I feel I keep a lot of things bottled inside so when I perform when I write music that into so that's why I get aggressive and like mm, 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 and I can't help it I've been like this since I was a little girl right but on the other side of that if you know me personally like yes i'm an extrovert and i like to make friends and i'm really nice and out there but inside i'm like always overthinking i'm like do people like me like what's going on i'm always in my head so i feel like i'm like an extrovert introvert i don't know and then i never really hang out with people like that like quarantine has been the best thing for me honestly maybe a few people if i hang out with you i really like being around you I think it's a cancer in me. Someone said it's a Virgo rising. What is it? The ascendant? I don't know which one you call that. But that's the T. Lipstick? What am I wearing? This is Fenty gloss. Mm, mm, mm. Carmen's begging for another fry. Let me give him another one. Also, guys, I have another guilty pleasure. I like to find those people on YouTube, the black vloggers, and watch them. I'll tell you my favorites. Right now it's Unghetto Matthew, and then the other one, what's his name? His name, Primetime Hitler, and he has like a new girl every week. And it is the most entertaining stuff I've ever watched before in my life. It is so entertaining. So that's what I do on my free time, and I eat. I eat and I watch black YouTubers on YouTube. And I watch Real Housewives of Atlanta. That's what I do. So that's about me in a nutshell. And I make music. Yes, for everyone asking, I make beats. I'm a producer. I have been for a few years. Also, I have another thing to talk about. I see a lot of people wondering about my age or they think I'm like 18. No, I'm 22. I'm 22, love. I'm going to be 23 in July, July 1st. So technically I'm a grown ass woman. Well, grown woman, not grown ass woman yet. Someone said I must work out a lot. Mm -mm. No, I eat more than I work out. When's the last time I worked out? Three days ago? I might go on a hike in the morning with my friend if I get up in time. <laughs> hey, Memphis. But yeah, so that's the tea on that. Mm, mm, mm. You want another one? Someone said 22 going on 32. No. Nah. But a lot of people call me, they call my mental state like an old lady. Here you go. Good boy. Because I don't really, I'm not really hip. I'm not really hip. I'm, I'm really not. <laughs> I'm really not. <laughs> I'm clumsy. I'm such a nerd. I really, I really don't know how to conduct myself most of the time. Unless it comes to business. That's when I boss up. A business, production, or music, or performing. That's when you see the wise Chloe. All right. I'll do a few more questions and I'm going to go. Do you miss your sis? Hell yeah, I miss Hallie every day. I miss her every day. And I was like going back and forth if I was going to go be with her this last time. So, and like, I'm always like, girl, I'm just a phone call away. If you need me to get on a plane, I will be there. Because I miss her and I'm really, really proud of her. I'm really proud of her. Because, you know, she's just smart and she's beautiful and she intelligent and she's just killing it and i miss her someone asked me for feet pictures y'all think my feet are cute <laughs> thanks okay but yes i miss hallie back to it hey brett yeah i miss hallie like all of, like my other half is missing
So I might seem like I'm fine, mm -mm, but I'm dying inside. Callie is in Europe. I'm not telling you exactly where, because I don't need y'all pulling up on her. I'm going to have to come fight somebody. Even though I don't fight, I don't know how to fight for the life of me. I really don't. I'm a lover, not a fighter. So I can't I can't even play games like that. <laughs> so yeah. I miss my best friend. Branson misses her too. Okay. Do I live alone? No. I live with my family. You trying to get married okay so question is that a are you asking me to be married to you or are you asking just in general i'll answer to the just in general i'm such a hopeless romantic i love love of course i want to get married i want to get married have a big old family years and years from now because i have a lot i want to accomplish but yes i want to get married now i don't know who you are tyler but i appreciate the question okay this is kind of fun. Um, 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 um. Tell us a scary story that happened to you. I have a lot of those, honestly. <laughs> okay. Um, these questions are funny. 